why do I love to produce ballets and choreograph and create new works? It's just something I have to do. I have an imagination and I love to design things and create things and entertain people with beautiful dancing. Your eyes may be whole, but the story I'm told is your heart is as black as night. And we are a family and, and we've kind of grown up together in some ways, some of us have, and so it's just this close-knit thing. What's fun about being with Ballet Fantastique is I enjoy the camaraderie of the dancers here. Everyone really looks out for each other in this company because it is a very small company of just eight dancers and a few guest artists who come in from time to time. So I really enjoy uh, working with Valley Fantastic. They've become a part of my family, so I really enjoy being here. To me, being a dancer at B-Fan means that I get to dance every, pretty much every day of my life. A little girl dreams to be a ballerina, and so dancing at B-Fan is just like following every little girl's dream. My, my dream is a little girl. So in um, Pride and Prejudice, we're just doing a small part of the ballet. And you have um, Mr. Darcy, Caroline Bingley is what I'm playing. And um, my brother, whose name is, I can't remember. Okay, so we have Mr. Darcy, and then I'm Caroline Bingley, and then my brother, Mr. Bingley. And um, we are like in this um, jazz club in Paris, and um, we are just sitting being super snobby and snooty, and then the music starts playing, and I see all these people dancing, and I'm like, what the heck? I need to get out there and dance. is definitely the character that I play in our piece, Mwamonim. I play a very sassy, sultry waitress um, who's sad because none of the boys pay attention to her. And I have a lot of fun acting and a lot of fun doing that and playing off the other dancers. In Paris, the Lord works in mysterious ways. Envision this with me. Tov again with Mr. Darcy, Mr. Bingley, and Bingley's sister Caroline on holiday in Paris. It's dusk, May 4th, 1926, and the British tourists are lost in the back alley of Montmartre in search of the Parisian jazz they've heard so much about. They're about to meet the sisters of who own the Cabaret Bennett, and the rest will be history. After all, I always say, that to be fond of dancing is a certain step towards falling in love. 